All right, I'm on the mower and the broken spindle. I got the part in. Uh, it took a few days for it to come in. So the first thing I did, first off, here's the new spindle. Obviously no little broken tears, uh, ears. Um, looks the same, pulley's the same. Everything looks the same, threads, the bolt, for that fits on there. And the uh, only thing different about this one and the, old, the original, this is the original of course, the new one, has a greaser, so I went and pumped some grease in there just to make sure it was properly greased up until it came out. And um, let's see here. just so if anybody asks, this is the part number right there, made in China, so we know it's top quality material. Uh, but before I got started, when it broke, it bent. This one up and this one down, or whichever. So I kind of tapped it back up where I looked like it's level. It looks pretty level now. And uh, that's where it is. And it did come with new bolts somewhere. I probably misplaced them somewhere. But it did come with new bolts. It did not come with a new stud for the uh, blade. So make sure you keep that. Other than that, I don't know where I put the bolts at, but I'll find them. I still have the old ones anyway. Uh, but anyway, here's it at. Here it is. So everything looks the same. Everything looks the same size. Same everything. So obviously we make that looks good. So we're we're happy there. So next thing I'm gonna do is oops, reinstall it, and obviously it comes up through the bottom. And bolts in there so I'm gonna pause it and go back to that all right got it back in there and you see good and I just uh, I think this is a what is a half inch half inch kind of tighten them all up a little bit looks like she's pretty hopefully I got it pretty square to bent the deck a little bit. We'll know here in a minute. One handed is always fun. So I'm going to stop there and we'll put the blade on and take a look at that and see how it spins. All right, so I just temporarily put it on there just to see. For, uh, before it was hitting here. Now you can see it's clearing there. It's coming across pretty level, so. It's not, I'm just looking to see how they all run. They all look like they're pretty good. This is coming across here even. I think we're off a little bit, but I am not. Let's see here. Looks pretty good. But I am going to take this back off. I noticed, uh, not there. This is, actually, I've just bought these blades this year, so you can see where I obviously did a little damage there. So I'm going to take that, hammer that back down, and then resharpen this blade. So I got a sander I can do that with. So anyway, I'll do that and see how she looks. Okay, I got. Uh, I actually went back and got one of my old blades because after looking at the other one, it did get bent. Just a little uh, slightest bit, but that's life. So uh, I went and grabbed one of the old blades, oops, and uh, put it on there, tightened these all up, tighten that up. Now what I did, I just lay a board across here. That way, you tighten that up. And I just got a uh, my torque and cranked it down so she's tight. I'm gonna check these, make sure they're tight. They still look good and sharp. That one's got a little bit of a nick in it. I'm not going to worry about taking it off. So anyway, it looks better. It's more even. I know the other one was just a little, one side was higher. So, which would cause the uh, vibration and wear that bearing out even faster if you got a vibration. So, it might be, if you do have it, if you have an old blade, keep it around. I always keep my old ones just in case. That was the best of the three I'd left, and I I might just take a file, hand file, and file that down just a little bit. 
instead of taking it off there. So anyway, that is replacement of the spindle. Not too difficult. Uh, I'm going to keep the old one, maybe get it repaired. I don't know. I think it was $40 uh, for the spindle. Not that much work to do. I did not repair this part. I Maybe I will later on down the road. Not really too concerned about it. Uh, it's not going to be an issue for me. Uh, and of course, what I got out here, I obviously cleaned all the crap out of there. Uh, you can see a little, there's the old blading. Like I said, it even looks a little bent when I look at it like that. So anyway, uh, pretty straightforward. Not too much of a mess, and not too hard, easy for anybody to do. Anyway, uh, it looks like I'm over a thousand subscribers. I've mentioned it in a video before, so it only took me years to do it, but I don't put up a lot of videos, so thanks for everybody that's been watching. Any questions, feel free to ask. Have a great day.